Did you know that in Laney you can get more than layers? Now let's have a look at an example case. Here I am going to use ITK Snap to show you an anatomical data that I have prepared for this tutorial. Here you can see that the left Heschel's gyrus area of a human cortex is just separated. This image has around 0.2 mm isotropic resolution. So there are lots of voxels inside the gray matter, as you can see. So now I'm going to show you my segmentation of this region. And this is the only output we need to compute layers in Laney. So now let's go and compute our layers. Now I navigated to the Laney folder. I am running LN2 layers program, which only takes a single input called the RIM file. You can read the specifics in the help menu. So now I'm going to run this. As you can see, Laney is now running, telling us what it's doing. Let's wait a bit. It is finished. So now, what you see is that there are three new outputs generated. One is called layers, equidist, standing for equidistance measurement. The other one is called metric, and the other one is called mid gray matter. Now let's have a look at these outputs. First, I'm going to load the layers file as a segmentation. This is often what many people want. However, there's another lane output that is the basis of this file, which I'm going to show you next, which is this metric file. So if you load this file as an additional image, You will see that this file has a value between 0 and 1 for every gray matter voxel. We can actually load it as an overlay in ITK Snap to see how it corresponds to the gray matter. And basically, the layers file is just a bint version of this metric file. Therefore, once you have this metric output, you can decide on how many layers you want and write a simple program to bin this 0 to 1 range by yourself. And for the final part, I would like to show you the mid gray matter file and how we use it. Okay, here is the mid gray matter file that I load as a segmentation. And the handy feature of having this output is that now we can use the 3D mesh viewer to quickly generate a mid gray matter mesh to inspect our morphology in the region that we segmented. Looks pretty good. That's all for today. Thanks.